Let's calculate continuously compounded interest. Keyword here, continuously, meaning all the time. So continuous compounding. Interest is compounding at every moment in time, right? That's the whole idea of continuous. So what is the formula? A equals P E raised to the RT power. Now, A is the ending amount. P is our beginning principle. So, you know, what we start with. R is our percentage rate, which we're used to seeing that. And T is our time in years. Now, the one thing we haven't talked about here is the letter E. Now, E is a constant. It's a constant, kind of like pi. If you know like pi is 3.14, well, E is best known to be 2.71. And just like pi, it goes on and on and on forever. So this is our formula we will use for continuously compounding interest. Let's do an example. You invest $12,000 at 3% per year, compounding continuously. Find the value of the account after nine years, assuming no other deposits or withdrawals have been made. Round to the nearest cent. Now first, let's pull out our important information. So we've got, we're investing 12,000. So that's our beginning principle. It's 3%, that's my rate. Let's change that to a decimal. We're compounding continuously. So I know my formula is going to be A equals PE raised to the RT power. And nine years, so T is nine. Okay, let's plug in what we know. So A, equals 12,000 E, and then as an exponent, 0 0.03 times nine. Now, order of operation says let's do the exponents first. So A equals 12,000 E raised to the 0 0.27 power. Now, you can either type that all into your calculator at one time, or you can do the exponents first. Just please do not round until the very, very end. So this is 1.3099644451, goes on and on and on. If I multiply by uh, 12,000, round to the nearest penny, I get $15,719.57. So it's very important that you follow the order of operations after you've plugged the information into the appropriate formula.